It's day 21 of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge, and today is the best VFR and IFR alternate topic. Target, power back, head reason flat, perfect, landing still starting the perfect pattern. What is happening, Emzer Nation? It is day 21. We are, we are like, the finish line is in sight. Check in down below that you are 21 for 21. I'm so impressed by each and every one of you. Hey, today's topic is how to choose the best alternate. And initially you'd think, well, this is an IFR topic, but it's not exactly uh, an, an IFR topic. In fact, look at a 91103. In fact, 91103 talks about how flights not in the vicinity of the airport, right? It says IFR flights or flights not in the vicinity. So you could be VFR flying not in the vicinity away from your airport. Um, you must do these things. And what is one of those things? Become familiar with alternates available. So an alternate requirement is just not an IFR thing. It's a very popular IFR check ride topic and, and rightfully so. But even as VFR pilots, you should always have an alternate airport in mind. And this is something new. If you've, if you've been following MZRA for a long time, you may not have seen me teach alternates this way. This is something since writing the book Aviation Mastery, I've really uh, kind of developed as I've experienced it. And many of our online ground school members have experienced this. Let me draw it out for you. You and I are going on a cross country. We're starting right over here and we're going, let's say it's a 200 mile cross country all the way over here. Everything looks great. Where are you going to plan your alternate? I don't care if the weather's great. I don't care if the weather, it doesn't matter. Where are you gonna plan an alternate typically? Well, most people wanna put their alternate somewhere close to their destination. Some people even make, I'm gonna argue, a mistake by planning their alternate beyond their destination. I wanna challenge you to rethink your alternate. I recommend, if we're looking at this fictitious flight of about 200 miles, I recommend putting your alternate somewhere along your route of flight between the 40 percentile and the 60th, like as far as flight completion goes, around the, somewhere around the 100 mile mark on a 200 mile cross country. And within 10 miles left or right of your course, you're not going too far. And here's why. If I'm on this flight and I'm flying with my beautiful wife Magda and the kids, we're flying along and I get to my midpoint, in this case, my alternate. My alternate for me is a gut check kind of moment, especially flying with a family. Hey, does anybody have to go to the bathroom? If the answer is yes, I'm gonna go down to my alternate. Um, how, how's everybody feeling, right? Anybody, I know it's a little bumpy today. Everybody feeling okay? Anybody wanna take a little break? How do I feel? Did I sleep well last night? Am I feeling okay? Do I need to take a little break myself? Um, how's the weather, right? I would never leave, I know you would never do this either, leave a perfectly good airport behind you. So if you've been flying the past 100 miles and the ceiling was 5,000 broken, and next time you checked in, it's 4,500 broken, and now it's 4,000 overcast, and now it's 3,500 feet overcast, and you get to your midpoint and you go, okay, the ceiling's been decreasing. You're lying to yourself if you think that's gonna stop. Right, Mother Nature's funny about that. You better stop at that alternate, at that midpoint in this case, land, recheck weather, because the last thing I want you to do is to continue pushing it, lying to yourself, thinking the weather's going to get better. People hurt themselves by flying too long. And I don't mean time-wise. I mean, they keep going longer than they should have. You had the indications when the ceiling went from five to 4.5 to four to 3,500. And then you told yourself, uh, I think I can beat it in there, or I think it'll get better, or I think I'm gonna beat that storm cell. If you find yourself using these phrases in your mind, you need to be land that airplane at your alternate or, or, or an alternate that you find along the way. Here's the other reason I like the alternate along my route of flight. Let's say we get to that midpoint, no one's gotta go to the bathroom, weather's still looking good, so we continue on past it, and we keep on flying. And all of a sudden, we get you know, within 50 miles of our airport, and a storm cell moves in. Well, I know I would have never left a good airport behind me, so where's their good weather? There's good weather back behind me. If there's a storm system in front of me that I don't like, or something I don't like in front of me, I can make the 180 degree turn back around to that same alternate, because you would not have left that airport as a possibility um, if it wasn't 
pretty and clear and had good conditions there, right? Use it as a gut check moment. Too often, let's go back to that scenario, I'm 50 miles from my destination, weather builds in front of me, well, you, you put your alternate 20 miles even past your destination. Well, if you can't make it to your destination, what makes you think you're gonna make it 20 miles past your destination? Never leave a good airport behind you. Anybody who's been following m for a long time remember my JFK Jr. accident analysis? It's been years since I've done it. I can't remember the number of airports, but I wanna say he passed somewhere in the 20 or 30 airports along his route of flight as he was scud running. I'm talking airports that had fuel, had lights, had a beacon, had services. I'm not talking like private airstrips and stuff. I'm talking good quality airports. I wanna say the number was like 20 or 30 airports that he just kept flying past, leaving good airport after good airport behind him. And it's not just JFK Jr. There's other NTSB airports we can find where people have left good airports behind them. Here's my challenge to you as we're Look at the finish line of the Safer Pilot Challenge here in, in just a few more videos, a few more days. Consider placing your alternate along your route of flight. And an alternate isn't just for when things hit the fan. An alternate is for family bathroom breaks. <laughs> an alternate is for someone doesn't feel so hot, let's land. An alternate is for, you know, my fuel burn is a little higher than I thought. I know I have enough fuel to make it there, but I'll feel a whole lot better if I arrive with even more. I'm gonna stop and grab some fuel and a snack. That's what alternates are for. Alternates are not just for when things hit the fan. Alternates are for all those other things, like bathroom breaks as well. <laughs> Listen, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Did anybody learn something so far in the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge? I hope you're absolutely loving this. I hope you're loving uh, everything we do here at M0A. It is for you all to make you safer, smarter pilots. I'll see you all tomorrow. In the meantime, have a blessed, abundant, outstanding, rest of your day and most importantly remember a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day everybody.